Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support. Uh, you're resonating with the messages that I'm sending out from the universe. We're all being able to connect and collect all together and being able to spread spread knowledge and awareness towards each other that we really need to look out for so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have you know you've been watching my videos for a while i have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video also if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love a chance to get to know you as much as you're knowing me or even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up tell me about your impact the gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the video has been very informative to you and gave good vibes you would love to share with a loved one or friend or even a fellow empath that are going through some trying dark times right now that need validation and confirmation please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you once again for the love and support that you've been sending me and the channel is so greatly appreciated and love you from the bottom of my heart and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today i'm listening to good night music deep calming music relaxing peaceful sleep music 528 hertz inner healing and i will post that link in the description box below and today my video is about twin flame 101 uh heyoka seeking others to fill your cup you know what we have done that you know i've done that you know there's times where i've seen validation i had seeked attention because i felt like i wasn't enough for myself you know when you have been in an abusive relationship or grew up in an abusive household uh there there becomes habits that bad habits that we tend to pick up um going through these things can be really tough you know um like i tell y'all I, I make my videos because of my past experiences or the things i'm currently going through or just the messages that i get from source or the masses or you know um universe or god one of the, one of the one one of the one of them but anyways um being able to seek your cup you know um i've been through toxic relationships uh, losing my father and you know it was already hard for me to find out I was adopted at 15 I found out I was adopted on my birthday I already knew I was because of different things because my mom's age my mom's age gap between my father and it's just like around those time of that times they didn't start having kids at that age because my mom was a lot older than my dad and I looked like neither one of them everybody kept saying I look like my father I look like my father but my mom was talking about my other dad my biological father not my you know my my um adopted one and knowing all those things really put a toll on me I thought I was gonna lose my mind I you know I thought my world it came to an end but it's like that pain and sorrow has really taught me a lot to have that self-worth for myself um being able to see things i really wasn't able to see before um we really should not seek validation on the outside source when we should be looking and i see a lot of folks that does does that i've done it you know and it, it's just like people have been close to me um they're like rosalyn you know i've made videos about this before but i'm getting new people who are coming in but you know different things come to me and it sticks out it's like you need to talk about this or you, you know i could be watching an, another video on youtube and i'm like hey that sounds like something you know i really need to talk about and it's not exactly how what they're talking about but it'll be something they will say in a sentence and it really stuck out to me and i get a chill and i'm like oh okay that's new content let me write that down and it's just like you, you should not ever seek somebody to fill your cup you should do it yourself because it's just like seeing you know people from my past uh seeing them getting validation and trying to fill a void within others through you know dating sex you know anything that is not healthy for them to do because you should anything that you're trying to seek on the outside source should be something you should seek with it and it, it takes a lot of times where i even see when i'm watching videos you know if you're into the gossip blogs or whatever they're talking about people cheating on folks and you know it has a pattern we have a bad pattern of doing things like that if you have been in a household where that's all you're used to that tends to be the things that we we seek out you know i, I was seeing my mom getting 
uh, going through verbal abuse where it was at, like alcohol and stuff like that. So end up going through the same thing. And it's just like I said, I want to break that cycle. I don't want to see my children go through this. I don't want my kids thinking it's okay to go through stuff like that. Being able to accept anything because the fact is you wanted to feel the need of being wanted. And it's just like, you know, I didn't have that father in my life like that. My father got a divorce. My adopted father got a divorce from my mom when I was like eight years old, eight, nine years old. And he got married and then he just started dealing with his wife and her family. And just, you know, it was like always broken promises. You know, I would go with him every once in a while. But then, you know, when they started being in the marriage a little bit longer, all of a sudden it was like more and more times I would get stood up. So I was looking for love in all the wrong places. He was never there to teach me how a man should be able to teach a woman. So I had to find out all these things on my own. But it's okay because at the end of the day, when all this stuff is said and done and I went through a really toxic relationship, that toxic relationship has helped me learn my self-worth. For me not to seek validation from nobody but myself. Don't worry about what other people think. You know, love myself regardless of what other people how other people like me and you know nobody not everybody's gonna like you not everybody's gonna love you is what you feel about yourself is what counts I don't worry about seeking having anybody else fill my cup I fill my cup myself you know I'm still working on myself people are like why don't you put yourself out there and you should date you're so beautiful and I'm just like yeah but my butt got baggage <laughs> I'm not trying to sit up here and seek validation through other you know through other uh other relationships especially when i'm trying to work on me because it's just like i've seen too many people and it's not like i i put a wall up before and i you know there was a wall up but now it's just like i know my soulmates out there i know i have somebody who's gonna love me but right now while i'm still single that gives me that time to work on myself healing places that i feel like i'm still growing at being able to improve myself so when i get to that point of being where I want to start dating other people I'll be okay I'll have something to bring towards the table I won't have to worry about think about old reoccurrences from my ex and trying to compare my ex to the person I'm with right now you know because sometimes you have a bad habit I used to have a bad habit when I up and leave an ex I'm set up here leaving an ex and you know before I can give myself time to heal, I don't jump from another person. I'm like, you know, if anybody listen to K. Michelle, she has that song, she get, got a new guy to get over the other guy. That's not healthy. That's not healthy. When you have been in a toxic relationship, you need to give yourself that time to heal. Whether it's a man or a woman or whatever, wherever you see fit. When you have been in a dark relationship, then you need to give yourself that time to heal because that's a lot that your mind and your body and your soul went through. You know, you look at people different. You know, you don't want to sit up here and compare somebody else to another one. You don't want to sit up here and be cutting somebody when they ain't the one who tried to cut you in the first place. You don't need to be bringing stuff like that. But a lot of people, you know, I've seen is, you know, talked about they don't want to be alone or they, they like being wanted or they like somebody to worship them. You shouldn't do that. I mean, that, I mean, do you really need some therapy? Because it's like even when you sit up here and see these celebrities going through it, you know, I've had my opinion about Khloe Kardashian, Wendy Williams. You know, you're seeing all these sad things going on. I really don't care for Wendy Williams, but I don't wish that on nobody, you know, going through stuff like that. Because I went through a situation like that, what Wendy Williams went through, and that is not fun. You know, I look at that woman at first, I was like, ah, oh, that's what you get, karma, this and this and that. But then when I really thought about it, when I'm going through my healing mode, and I guess it's just the fact that she don't have a little choice words for my dad. So I just been, you know, at her since then. But I had to let that go. Because when, usually when people tend to talk about other folks like that, it's because they're not, they're not happy in their situation. It makes them feel good when they see other people in shambles like that. So when I looked at Wendy's situation, I said, you know what? You could be in that situation. So don't be so quick to judge on somebody. You know, I went through the same thing like Chloe did. But, you know, even though Chloe did what she did and she had karma coming back on her, you still don't want to wish that on nobody. Because that is already a sad situation as it is because the fact is, this happens to women and men every day. But the only difference between them and us, they're celebrities, so everybody's knowing about it. So that has to be embarrassing. So I tend to look at it and, you know, I said, okay, 
I hope they can heal from these situations. I know that and I hope they can find their self worth because that can really mess a person up, especially when you have to relive it all the time with it being in vlogs. So I try not to be so judgmental about situations like that because I always heard, you know, my mom always used to say, and I've been seeing posts about that, don't be so quick to judge folks like that because God can quickly put you in the same situation on the people you're talking about. So it's just like you need to be able to, I, I said, you know what, instead of talking about these people, I mean, even though you can have your opinion, like, I hope she finds herself worth. I hope she can be able to love herself and heal from this toxic situation she's allowed herself to be in. Especially if you have children. You don't need to be setting an example for them to let them know it's okay to go through stuff like that. Because I've done that. I had to break that cycle because I don't want to see my children go up and deal with the same things I had to go through when I had to see my mom go through. So it's just like I wanted them to find strength within themselves. Do not think just, you know, a man or a woman can treat you any kind of way and it'll be okay. You know, people, you know, yeah, you hurt somebody, but it's, sometimes it's not intentional. Nobody's relationship is going to be perfect, but you have to be able to love yourself. Respect yourself in all aspects. Have standards for yourself. Don't be just so quick to open up to somebody like that and you don't know how you're really knowing them because you know you actually you can go darker than you can i've seen so many people get murdered because the fact is they done hurried up and jumped into abusive relationship i've been in one where a man almost tried to kill me you know thank god i was able to break away there's not so many people that are so lucky about that so be able to seek to fill your own cup don't look for everybody to be pouring tea in your cup because you never know what they, they could be pouring arsenic or strychnine or something in your cup and don't know what you be drinking so i hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video love yourself honor yourself treat yourself as queen and beautiful queen and handsome king that you truly are know that you know you can find somebody when you love yourself you can find somebody who will love you just the way you love you and if they don't tell them to hit the streets and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video i hope y'all had a blessed enjoyable weekend stay blessed and stay safe for all the things that you are doing know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. I pray for y'all each and every day and I love you from the bottom of my heart and I will see you on my next video and like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, drop me a line and tell me how you feel about that. You know, no, let me know if you went through a toxic relationship and you know, has it taught you anything and you know, give me your feedback. I would really appreciate it and give me a thumbs up and like and even share and I'll see you on my next video. Much love, peace and be wild.